Hey everyone, welcome back to another New World video. I hope that everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day. And in today's video, I do want to dive into another money making guide, but it also is going to include a lot of tips and tricks with the arcane trade skill itself. So if you guys aren't necessarily worried about leveling up your arcane or already have done this, this is going to be more of a money guide for you, or you guys can kind of balance it out kind of in the middle and make a little bit of extra money while you're actually upgrading your arcane. Now, I'm not going to get into all of the specifics about how to level up your arcane, but if you focus on one of the couple items that I'm going to be talking about in today's video, you guys can copy and replicate my success in leveling up over 30 levels in just a single day, even after the update of 1.1 here in New World. I do like this update way better than it was before. I really got stuck at about a level 96, and I just felt like I wasn't really going to be getting anywhere with the arcane, and I really felt like I wasn't making any money from it. I felt like the money that I was putting into it, I definitely wasn't getting anything or rewards out of it. But now I definitely feel like that's a huge possibility because of what is required. So let's go ahead and dive into that. But before we actually do that, I just want to address something. For the people that leave comments about you should try this on a dead server, it's your choice to play on a dead server. You have an opportunity if you haven't already used it already to server transfer one time completely for free. So if you're going to complain about being on a dead server, you've made that decision yourself. You can't blame me for your, incap your incapabilities of going ahead and making any type of money here in New World if you guys aren't going to play on a more popular server. But that being said, there are some benefits by playing on a dead server as well. I'm not going to get into those specifically in this video, but if you guys would like to check out a video that I made about a week ago, make sure you guys go ahead and do that because there are some huge benefits by playing on a dead server. Let's go ahead and get started though. I can't fix your decision to play on the server and then you complaining about it. That's all I'm really gonna say. So stop leaving thumbs down on something that I can't change because of your decisions. All right, so a majority of people will actually say to go ahead and work on your magical weapons and there's some benefits of doing that. I'm not gonna deny that whatsoever. But we're not going to get into that in today's video, but there are some interesting aspects going on with the life and fire staff. And I'll try to address that in a separate video if I can. But we're going to kind of focus on the Elkinus, which is a brand new component to the Arcana or the Arcane um, in general, which you get experience for these as well. But on top of that, we're going to be kind of focusing on the health and the regeneration potions. These are kind of the items that we're going to be specifically looking at. So whatever you're starting at, it's kind of the same ingredients all the way through, starting with weak, common, strong, powerful, infused, etc. So weak is going to use hyssop and water, and it goes from 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 10 for the infused, respectfully. And then you need just one water with that in order to actually create an alchemist. Now you can see that you do get experience. You obviously get charge attacks because everything gets charge attacks in this game because they want you to lose money as fast as you possibly can. So this is one way of actually making money with this is selling whatever these, you know, the alchemists on the market, or you could actually individually go out and grab a whole bunch of herbs and collect their hyssop or hyssop, however you really want to pronounce it, and then go ahead and sell that on the market. I will say that the hyssop is selling for about 30 cents her as up right now so in order to make an infused alchemist if you were to purchase this on the market it would cost you over three dollars with the trading tax in order to craft one infused alchemist to get the experience points for that just to get into creating the infused health or infused regeneration potions so you can start working on them you work on the weak the, the common and then the strong now the nice thing about all this all of these require the exact same ingredients throughout your entire process. Now, if you guys didn't know about this, you guys can actually check this and you can actually see or uncheck it and you can see what all the items are that you guys can go ahead and grab. But the nice thing about the health potions is it always uses the bulrush cob, always uses the pedal cap. And then once you get into the powerful, 
the health one, you're going to start using the Bumble Blossom. Those are going to be the same three ingredients for all of them, and including the infused. Even when you get to a level 150, the infused health pot is actually going to be the same ingredients, literally the exact same. The only difference is you need to get the infused alchemist. Now, the only difference between the infused alchemist and the other ones is the infused one requires one Azoth water, which is selling anywhere between one and two coins on the server, my server right now. And that depends on the time of day on and if it's a weekend or a weekday. So let's say it's going to cost you two dollars in order to purchase that that means just to make an alchemist it's going to cost me five coins to go ahead and purchase that so if you're looking at making money from it you can sell all of those items to somebody that is going to be making this stuff and that's up to five coins per one pot of alchemist that they are going to be making that you guys could potentially make on that so there's where the money making guy kind of comes in and on top of that you guys can collect the bull rush you guys can actually go after the petal caps and also the bumble blossoms. Bull rush you can get pretty much anywhere. Anywhere there's a river, you can find the um the weeds and you actually go ahead and grab those and get the cobs. The reeds themselves are pretty much worthless, but you can try to sell them if you want, but they're selling for like pennies. So if you want to try it, go ahead. Uh the petal caps you get down in the Windsward territory and bumble blossoms you mostly get in the Weaver's Fen area. Now you can either buy these if you're gonna be making these yourself, or you can actually collect them and sell them to people that are gonna be purchasing or buying these. So or you can just randomly come across some of them and then eventually sell some of the items that you might receive. Now, these are selling for about 30 cents per. So this would be 90 coins, 0.9 coins in order to do this, plus the five that we got here. So if you were to collect all of these ingredients for the infused health pot for people to craft, you could potentially walk away from each pot crafted with making six coins. That's a pretty good return on investment for just a little bit of time, and that's per one. And people have to craft hundreds of these in order and that's per person that's going to be per player on the server so you guys can kind of see where that money making potential is really going to take effect here and start to really add up now the only difference between the infused health and the infused regeneration is number one the infused health are selling for about five coins a piece the powerful ones are only selling for a little over a dollar so it's about a five times more profitability by doing the infused so if you guys have the arcana skill and you don't necessarily want to go ahead and craft everything or go ahead and gather all the materials and you have the items in order to craft that you could actually make some good coin like i said about five coins per in order to actually go ahead and do that obviously i wouldn't buy the items and then do it because you're actually going to lose coin in the long run but the regeneration one the infused regeneration pot the only difference is you need a spine cap and spine caps you can get in kind of the restless shore area so that's the only difference the only ingredient that is different and we're going to look at what all these prices are here in just a second so you guys can kind of pick and choose where you guys want to focus your time and energy in do so the first thing that we're going to do is go over here to the trading post and we're going to look at all the elkiness and let's go ahead and start with a powerful um so they're selling for you know 65.65 coins a piece at the cheapest and honestly once all of these get sold then it jumps up a little bit so you have a little bit of an opportunity once all of these sell but that's one way you guys could actually go ahead and make money same thing with the infused one you know that's selling for five coins a piece just because it requires that azoff water and then if you want to get specifically into azoff water like i said one and two coins depending on time of day weekday weekend but right now it's weekend it's a high time play time so a coin per but that's still really not that bad in the grand scheme of things and then the other thing is that you guys can go out and grab a whole bunch of herbs and like i said about 0.3 coins per hisop and you need 10 of these in order to craft the infuse it doesn't matter if it's the infused health or the infused regeneration potion the other thing that you're going to need is the bull rush cob and right now that's selling for 50 cents a piece that's a huge profit 
Now you're only using one of these per potion, but if somebody is starting for the first time in our game, they have to go through literally thousands of crafted potions in order to level up from zero to 200. And this is gonna be the same ingredient. And you, this is probably the most common one that you guys can find anywhere. Cause all you have to do is find a river, any river, and you're probably gonna find some bulrush cob after you harvest some of that stuff. Now, the next one is going to be the, uh, let's see if we can find one here and it's not in there. So let's go ahead and go into like the spine cap. This is going to be for the uh, regeneration potions. So 30 cents a piece. The other one is going to be the petal cap. These are sell for 20 cents a piece. And then the last one is going to be the bumble blossom. And that one's selling for 42 cents a piece. So you can see there's a quite a bit of opportunity, even though it might not seem like it's very much profit at first. When you collect hundreds of these, especially the Bumble Blossom, they are incredibly easy to get in Weaver's Fen area because there's a huge grouping of them in multiple areas on the map. And I was able to get thousand of these probably within about an hour time frame. I went through one entire area, just did a big old circle. And by the time I got back to the very beginning of where I'd started, without having to fast travel or use any type of Azov in order to actually go to a different um, shrine, then it's all repopulated back in. Same thing with the Petal Cap, but they aren't quite as dense as the Bumble Blossoms are. I really wish that they were, but it does seem like when I put in, I'm personally doing a buy order on the Petal Caps. That's why I have so many of them. Because right now you can actually purchase them, you know, for 19 cents a piece and even 21 cents a piece just on the market right now in general. And once I buy some of these, I can, I'm going to push the price up, but I only need one per. So, I mean, this right here is a hundred and that's only going to cost me 20 coins in order to craft up a hundred. I use health potions all the time. I also give them to other people in my company. And it's a great way or i can actually go ahead and sell them so the powerful health potions are currently going for uh like i said just a little over a um a coin a piece the 130 and then you're gonna have the infused health potion which is going for six which people are buying this all the time and then the regeneration ones are going for almost eight well okay it's come down a little bit so People are actually realizing that this is an opportunity, so that price difference between the regeneration and the health is getting a little bit more narrow, even since I started looking at some of these prices before making this video. But I hope that this information really does help you guys out. You can either use this to craft and level up your arcane, or you can use this as a huge money-making opportunity, and the decision is yours. Again, I can't fix your decision. I can only help you guys in the grand scheme of things. And that's what I try to do here on YouTube. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.